Yeah, it worked out. I guess uh, we talked about it. We uh, the way uh, Minnesota plays. They're very expansive in, in their build out and, and they open up a lot of uh, spaces that we felt uh, in certain moments that we could take advantage of it. Or, um, but at the same moment, we knew they're a hard working team and that like most team, uh, not like most teams, they really recover with a lot of numbers back with urgency. So if we had those moments, we had to do it with a lot of pace. And I thought our, our group when we, uh, when those opportunities came to um, where we stole the ball and had the, the space to run at, we did it with, with uh, good speed and, and dynamic. <clears throat> Next question comes from Alex. Your line's open. Hey, Freddie. Uh, congrats on the win. Thank you. Um, just now, Adrian Heath uh, had a quote about David Ochoa. He said, um, you know, that he's he's got some edge on him for a kid who's not that good. Um, I think he said it like on a TV show or something. I just wanted to know what you thought of that. No comment. Everyone's fired up right now. It's the end of the game. Um, you know, we're all competitive, and everyone has a right to their own their own opinion and you know we we uh i thought ochoa had a, a pretty good game and he's still developing in in many ways uh, he's a young young adult and you know we'll continue to groom him and, and helping him in his career sean walker your lines open yeah freddie uh i guess kind of speaking of, of pretty young at least in terms of their mls career their mls development how important was it for Anderson and Rubio to get off to a fast start the way they did, not just for this game and getting this win, but obviously, I mean, just showing how well they can kind of, I guess, jump into it with the squad with relatively little uh, experience that they maybe have with the guys. Yeah, it's. I think it's always important, right? For confidence, it's great. I think, uh, or not, I think we know their qualities. Um, they, they, we brought them for a reason. We thought we they would mesh well with the group and the strengths that we had as a, as a group. And, and then what we lacked is reasonings why we brought them and they fit in well. And they've, they've been having a very good preseason. They've already shown us in, in multiple games why, why they're starting. And, and it wasn't any different today, but it's like you said, it's always great to start on, on the front foot for confidence reason. You know, it was nice to, for them to get the goals, to give them momentum, but also for you guys and the fans to, to see why the, you know, the front office uh, brought them in because they were players that we felt would help us, and and they did. It was, it's, it doesn't always fall that way in your debut, you know, and in, in the season opener. But it, we're glad it, it did, and they were very unselfish and worked extremely hard for the team against the ball. And then re were rewarded when we had opportunity to, on a counter attack or a play to put away. They 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 made great decisions in those those uh, opportunities. Jake, your lines open. Yeah, Freddie, uh, both Pablo Ruiz and Everton got those yellow cards in the first half. How nervy was that for you? He, he, you know, we were, uh, it was, I was contemplating subbing both of them, but it, it was also such a frantic game and the pace of it was at a high level. You know, it's, it's obviously the beginning of the year and so there's a lot of chaotic moments. So it was, it was tough making those subs and, and we ended up making in Bees. I thought Beesler did a great job of coming in and being able to quickly adapt to the pace of the game. Uh, and that's that's the reasoning why Everton came out. He was giving us a good game. He was he had the bite in there. He was breaking up plays. He was starting his Everton like uh, little counterattacks where he goes on the dribble. But there was moments that we knew that you know we might have to foul uh, foul or, or get caught in some situations. So we made the decision there. We wanted to put out uh, pull out Pablo a little earlier, and then they get the goal. So we we you know we second guessed it there, and then. We eventually made the sub, but yeah, it was nervy throughout the time because it was a game that you had to really get stuck in and, and break up plays. And But overall, I thought they did a, a good job of still staying within the rhythm of the game and not giving up uh, too many silly fouls if they didn't need to. <clears throat> Tyler Haslam, your line's open. Uh, Coach, could you just comment on um, your ability to, to put pressure on the ball in, in the opposing third um, and and how you guys were able to, to capitalize on the mistakes that Minnesota made and, and get some goals off of those mistakes? Yeah, I thought in the first half, Minnesota was all over us. There were, the, Minnesota's a good team, guys. Uh, don't let the, uh, the results fool you. They're a good team. They went to Seattle and played well. They were, they were on fire today um, with, with their ball movement, their, their crispness, their, their attack, their energy. And I thought in the first half, we, we, we caught them a couple moments, obviously, with the goals, but they were, they were pinning us in. Uh, so at halftime, we talked about how we could apply a little more pressure on them, a little bit higher up the field. 
if we did that, we felt that we could win the ball a little more, and then that would allow us to have the ball a little bit more and start have, uh, allowing us to retain possession and keep it for a little bit longer periods. And we did that in the second half uh, a little bit better. I thought we put a little more pressure on them higher up the field, like you said, because of what we talked about. And then it uh, started opening up some spaces where we could play the ball. And I thought we could have we had an opportunity to get a third one there. Um, there was a little bit of a deflection that didn't let Rubio get it clean, but that maybe would have made the game a little easier for us earlier. But Overall, I thought that what we talked about at halftime, we applied it and, it and it gave us a little bit of a better shot there in the second half. Alex, your arms open. Ready, obviously this game, um, I think a lot of people are going to remember because of the goals. Um, what would you, how would you assess uh, just the defensive effort of you guys? Hard work, united. The team was united the whole time. Um, they came at us, they came at us. You know, we were bending, didn't break. We fought, showed a lot of character. Perseverance was all over the, you know, the, the, the group was, it was a group. It was a group that wanted to get three points tonight. And when they got that, that, that first goal and then they get the second, you know, and you see them in the locker room, you know, you know the opponent's going to come at you uh, in the second half and that it was going to have to be a battle and we were going to have to show some character. And I thought our group, uh, you know, they, they were up for the challenge tonight. Um, and it, it wasn't an easy team to keep off the, the scoreboard. They're good. They cross the ball. They, they get into the box with numbers, and it, it, it really challenges your character as a group. And it was a good challenge for the, for the first game because there's, there's no easy games in MLS, especially on the road. And all the credit goes to our guys for today putting in the hard work and showing the unity as a group. Time for two more questions. First comes from Jake. Your line's open. Yeah, Freddie, how important was it to have a guy like Rubio out there who could be a true nine and hold up play for you? Very important, right? Because I think Rubio, what Rubio offers is he offers hold up play that we can link that, that that's, that's our DNA. We want the ball when we can and get the ball and get it on the ground and let, let players like Albert and, and Pablo and Demir get into the game. Um, but also when we can't and like today when we were so under, you know, so much pressure and the team putting us under stress that we could play a ball in the air and he's, he's having to deal with Boxel and, and, uh, uh, Number 22, Ritala, if I'm not mistaken. They're good center backs, and he's still able to do that. Then get in behind him and stretch him a little bit, which is important to us. It was important to us. And then we make the sub and put in Douglas, and Douglas gives us this, you know, some of the more dynamic and in behind and really puts the, uh, their center backs having to stretch it. So it was a good combination of having both. Uh, and but, you know, Rubio gave us those good 70, 75 minutes and super valuable in all those minutes that he played. Last question comes from Tom. Your line's open. One of the uh, one of the unsung heroes, in my opinion, anyway, tonight was probably Pablo Ruiz. If you could just speak on on, on the importance he plays, I guess tonight, but but for your team overall as well, when it comes to trying to utilize space in the attacking half, he's somebody that the players, his teammates, seem to look at to to try and flip the ball across the park. I thought I thought both I, all our midfielders were very good today. Uh, he's not an unsung hero, man. The guys know his, well, maybe to the fan, but everyone knows his value. And I think he just keeps getting better and better. He was all over the place today. He was comfortable on the ball. He was picking up the ball and on second, second loose balls and dynamic and quick to, to recover him was, you know, having to deal. It's not tough. It's, I mean, it's not easy to deal with a Reynoso who finds pockets, you know, wherever you are, he's not. And so then you have to make sure that you're alert, but a very mature, uh, game from Pablo, a very mature game from our back four, a very mature game from, from Everton, uh, and, and they just continue to get better. We're asking them to do a couple things, a little bit more of the dirty work, uh, our center mids, and, and a little bit more discipline. And I thought if we, didn't, if we wouldn't have that discipline from Pablo and Everton today, with, along with our back four, then it could have been a long night.